Hello folks, in this video I'll show how to implement sound effects and background music into your Love 2D games. This is a very simple process and all you need to get started is any Love 2D project as well as some sound files. If you need help getting a project set up, check the playlist in the description. So this is my very simple project right now, it's just a main.lua file. And what I'm going to do is right next to it is create a new folder and I'm going to call it sounds. Now in the sounds folder, I'm going to go ahead and paste in these two sound files. They're available in the description if you'd like to use them. The first file is blip.wave, which sounds like this. It's very simple. Next up we have music.mp3, which sounds like this. Again, just very simple background music. And once those files are in place, go ahead and open up your project in Visual Studio Code. Again, check the playlist for more information on this. And you should see your sounds folder available in this left side, and opening it up should reveal those two sound files. Now what we need to do next is include those audio files into our code. And we do this by creating a new source for them, and then storing them in a table. So in our love.load function, I'm going to create a new table called sounds. And in sounds, I'm going to create uh, a new source for each of those sound files. So I'll start with blip, sounds.blip equals love.audio.new source. And then in the parentheses, we need to provide the path to our blip.wave, which is this file right here. So I'm going to provide that path, which is sounds slash blip.wave. And then the next parameter is the source type. Now there's two types, there's static and there's stream, and I'll explain what those mean in a second. But for our sound file, or for our sound effect, I'm going to make this static. Let's do the same thing for music. Let's do sounds.music equals love.audio.new source. And the path again is sounds slash music.mp3. And for our music files, we'll make this stream. So we have static and stream. Now there is a distinct difference between these two. Static means that the whole file is loaded into memory, while stream means that the audio file is streamed, so it's loaded into memory in chunks. A general rule of thumb is to make your sound effects static and your music stream. This is because sound effects are typically smaller files, so loading them fully into memory is less costly, as opposed to music files, which are likely much larger. And now that these audio sources are ready, it's really easy to play them. Let's start with the music. We're going to make the music start right when the game starts. So again, at the bottom of love.load, I'm just going to say sounds.music colon play. And this play function is what plays the source file. If we save and run, we can hear the music playing in the background. It was very easy to do. Next, let's do the same thing for the sound effect, but we'll make the sound effect play whenever something specific happens. I'm thinking something like whenever the player presses the space bar, we'll play the sound effect. So down here, I'm gonna create a new function love.keypressed, which is what you need to read the space bar input. And we'll say if key is equal to space, then we're just going to play that sound effect, which is sounds.blip colon play. And if you save and run now, whenever I press the space bar, the sound effect plays. Again, very easy to do. And that covers how to play our audio, but there are still some important things to discuss. For example, our background music should loop and never stop playing. However, by default, the source will stop after it's done playing. So for our music, we want to set the looping to true. And we do that with a very simple set function. We say sounds.music colon set looping. And then we pass in true because we want it to loop. And with this in place, our music will continue to loop over and over again and never stop. There's also the matter of stopping our music since there's likely times that we don't want it to play. Let's go down to our key press and do something similar. I'll say if key is equal to Z, then in here we'll stop the music. So I'll say sounds.music 
colon stop. And that's how you stop an audio file. If I save and run now, whenever I press the Z key, the music stops. These audio sources have tons of different features built in that allow you to customize your sounds and use them in unique ways. Check out this page from the Love Wiki to see everything that's possible. The most important things, in my opinion, are down in the functions, all of these things you can get and adjust. And some things I'd like to call out are set looping, which we did earlier. There's also set pitch, which allows you to change the pitch up or down, making it higher or lower than the original source file. And then there's also set volume, which allows you to make your audio source quieter or louder. That about covers the basics of using sounds in Love2D. If you found this useful, please leave a like on the video and feel free to subscribe for more game development content. Thanks so much for watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.